guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be solving this Rubik's Cube. Now, a while back in my video called My Cat Gary, I did solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, but I hadn't solved this one in a while, which is why I didn't just do this one. And it would have kind of taken a long time. I think I had solved it like a year before. I was not really familiar with this anymore. And I kind of forgotten everything that you do to solve it. But today, I'm going to be solving this. So, I'm going to go ahead and scramble it up. Um, don't worry. There are no like trick scrambles or anything going on. I'm just scrambling this thing up. I am going to be using the beginner's method. Because that is the only method that I know to solve this thing. I can solve it in about... 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which really is not that bad, but um, basically what I'm going to do first is find the white center um, right there, and then I'm going to pick which thing I want to be in front, so like if the label, label is like that, it says Rubik's, I want orange to be right here in front, so I'm just going to twist the orange face right there, um, but um, that's basically that. This is not a tutorial, by the way, so don't be using this as a tutorial. Um, but um, now I just gotta find this piece with an orange on it, and I'm just gonna put that in spot. Okay, so now I have these two and then these two. Now I got to find this one. This one has a red on it, so we gotta put that one on the red side. The red side's right there, facing towards me. Now we got this one with a green. That is the blue side, so we can't quite do that one. But this is green, so right here. So we can do that, just like that. And now we have just the blue part, so and it's right here. All right, so just like that. And now we have the cross solved. So if you look at the cross, it does just look like this, but then you notice if you look at the sides, it is in the right spot. So that green is set, set with the green center, same with that, same with that, blue with the blue center, and everything is in the right spot, basically. Now, I'm just going to solve these corners. These corners have white on them, and then you look here, and if that's green, then you have to twist that to the green side. So now, that one is, like, touching the green center right there. So now we put it right there, and then I'm going to do the same with the blue side. Then I'm going to do the same with the red. And now I'm going to do it with the green again. Okay, so now we have these little T's, okay? Once you have the T's, you look at the bottom of the cube, or I guess this isn't really a tutorial, so I'm not kind of showing it that well. <clears throat> but um, I match this up with the red. This blue needs to go over here. So I'm just gonna do this little algorithm. I'm, kind of, I'm trying to hold it up um, so you guys can see it okay. Um, okay, so now we, this is here, so we have to do this. All right. And, okay, so all these pieces have yellow on them, so I'm just going to have to match it up with a random one, but that is okay. Alright, so just like that. Oh, cube got kind of locked up there. Alright, so now we have this one that needs to go here, then this needs to go over to the green, so we do that. I'm, like, very familiar with this, but I don't even have to look at it while I'm doing it, and now I've fixed white. And we have the green um, layer solved, the red layer solved, the blue layer solved, but not quite the orange. So, here we go. So, this green piece has an orange on it, so we're just going to go ahead and fiddle with this until it is in the right spot, just like this. And now you'll notice all of that layer is solved, including the top. Now, we're going to move on to the bottom. Now, for some reason, the bottom... For me, it's a little bit of trial and error, but, um, yeah. Okay, so that does that. Okay, so if that's that, then I can do this. And now we have the yellow cross. And what I, like, what I call it is like a little fish. Because when you end up getting it, it looks like a fish. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, this time I got what I like to call a castle. I don't know why I think it. It just kind of looks like a castle to me. But um, now I have the cross again. And right now I'm just trying to get the um, yellow fish that I like to call it. Um, it's just like a little fish shape. That's it right there. Um, you can see how it kind of is like a, sh a fish shape. You know, that's like the body and the tail. But um, then you want to put that in the top right corner, the tail point in there. And then you just do this little algorithm. 
it's one that's on the two by two, which is why I remembered it really quick. Um, but um, now we have the yellow, this, and then all this. We only have <clears throat> these sides right here. That is normally really easy. I'm just gonna match up anything that I already have. Okay, it doesn't seem I have anything. In, like, so now I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so now I have the reds in the right spot, so I'm gonna point that back. And I'm going to do that algorithm again. By the way, this isn't like entirely right. Um, I've watched a whole bunch of videos and I'm just kind of doing stuff that I knew from the 2x2 two two and kind of using it how I know it works. Um, so now I have to do just one more algorithm. Just like that. And this is the last turn. Boom. And remember how I said I was going to put orange in front? There's the orange and there's the logo. So that is about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone who you think might like it. I can solve it a lot faster, but I was kind of trying to explain. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.